At my heaviest, I weighed 360 pounds. At my biggest, I avoided not only mirrors, but just like reflective surfaces in general. When you're a big guy, you don't have very many friends. As I was losing the weight, I was gaining more confidence naturally, started to care about the way I looked. It's taken me about two years to lose 160 pounds. I started to be able to talk to people, and that's Whoa. like... What? That's like a year's difference. Oh my gosh. I started gaining weight when I was younger. I never tried to lose weight. It really just kept increasing over time. I lost my father when I was 10, and I believe that caused depression, anxiety, social anxiety, which then caused the overeating and the stress eating and really just kind of kept on getting worse and worse over the years. I actually had to teach myself how to smile. I used to eat a huge, big old cow zone that's supposed to feed a family. I could eat two Big Macs, slices and slices of pizza. When you're a big guy, you don't have very many friends. Kids pick on you. And when the doctor told me that I was clinically obese, that was the point where it became real. I wanted to lose the weight, and that was the very beginning of my transformation. Started off really slow, just walking and, and cutting out certain foods, sodas, processed foods, and then gradually started increasing the, the exercise. Once I really started getting going, I actually started to enjoy it. It kind of turned into a, a game. Every month I wanted to lose more. My heaviest I was 360 pounds. Right now I weigh 220 pounds and I've lost 160 pounds. Working out gives me more confidence. After a good workout, I always feel 100 times better even if I was exhausted before. As I was losing the weight, I started to be able to talk to people a lot better. I started to look, be able to look people in the eyes when I talked to them. Before, eye contact was very difficult. Oh. Good. One of my best friends now, she approached me and it boosted my confidence a lot and it was and we still we're still friends today. Have you guys ever seen me? I don't think I ever showed you um, who I was before my transformation. I think I've told you but I never showed you. Yeah, I don't think I've seen. No. Uh -uh. For my first sixteen years I never looked in the mirror, never looked at photos. <laughs> And that's Whoa. like what? That's like a year's difference. Oh my so gosh! So thirteen? Yeah. But when I look at like, especially a lot of these photos, like these right here. Yeah. I don't remember taking these photos at all hmm. because I never wanted to see what it looked like. Had you ever tried to lose weight before this? Like before you made the big transformation? I never knew how big I was actually. Mm -hmm. I knew what size shirt I wear, what size pants I wear, but I had no. I never looked into what normal people wear, so I had no point of reference to see how far away I was. It was about six months into my weight loss. I got out of the shower and was able to look at the mirror and see myself. Now I see myself. But I helped more, right? Yeah. I was really surprised seeing Thomas's photos. We talked about it and heard the story, um, but never seen it. And I think that made it a little bit more real because to hear about it is one thing, but to actually see what he was talking about, totally different than I imagined. And it was hard to put in my brain, knowing the Thomas we know now. I believe I'm in the best state that I've ever been. I have a lot more confidence than I've ever had. It's really good to see you. Thanks for showing us the pictures. Yeah, yeah Thomas, yeah. This is, yeah, we love you, man. I still have days where I don't feel my best just to keep moving on and keep on doing what I'm doing and eventually I'll get to where I want to be. So however that looks on the scale is not really what I care about. Who's happy is really what's the most important.